Hello everybody and welcome to Trade with Precision a free newsletter. My name is Tamar Mer. Now this week we seem to continue the moves of Brexit and what we have really is markets that are very very overextended. Now when we see these big moves, when we see these sharp moves in the market then we tend to think how can I catch them, what can I do, how can I be a part of these ones and a lot of those uh, thought can lead new trader to enter entering into the market in really, really bad places, chasing the market, putting too much risk on the table, and then instead of making great amount of money as they dreamt of during these kind of days, they end up losing a lot of money. So it's definitely in any time that we're trading, we need to be very aware of our risk management and we need to even be more aware of that and more disciplined in our trading when it comes to adverse market conditions. Now, what we've got right now is a market that is very overextended and I'm just going to take a couple of examples. So looking here at the Euro GBP, we had quite a big move on Euro GBP and you can see that we're coming up into a level of support and resistance. Let me just uh, perhaps move into the weekly so we can see that a bit better. You can see that this whole area around the 84, 85 level is a strong level of support and resistance. So what I've got here is a market that is overextended here on the daily and coming up into our resistance level so I'm looking for a pullback obviously I would love a pullback into the 80 level but that might not happen this market is very strong to the upside when I look at the one hour you can see that we're still making higher highs and higher lows but we're starting to diverge here on the indicators which could point to a deeper pullback somewhere in and around the 50 moving averages around this time, time frame and if I look at the four hours that basically is going to bring me back into the buy zone on this time frame so I'm waiting for a pullback let's take another pound um, currency let's have a look at pound versus the Aussie we can see this is exactly the same scenario we've got divergence and quite a strong divergence coming here on the one hour as the market is making nice lower lows the indicators keep on making higher lows the four hours is still nicely convergence however we're further away from the sell zone so I would like to see a pullback very overextended here on the daily we're bouncing off the 1.8 you can see that we are currently rejecting that break lower it's a round number it's a nice level wouldn't mind to see a pullback to release some of that selling pressure let's take a look at cable the pound versus the US again the same scenario we are seeing here that divergence coming on the lower time frame we need to see release of that selling pressure we moved a lot in the past two days i'd like to see some pullback if we'll take a look a bit bigger here on the pound uh, let's move into the monthly you can see some more information so it's been a long while since we've been at that level now where would i like to see a pullback to you know 1.4 would be lovely but that's not going to be that's going to be quite a strong move for this market so somewhere around here 1.35 these previous touches over here could be a nice area for this market to pull any pullback that will release this selling pressure and give me a nice opportunities on the mid time frame is something that I'll be very happy with but I have to watch out for these divergence that coming in as well another market that I really like the look of is gold and gold has a obviously as a safe haven kind of uh, alternative or uh, considered to be a self heaven uh, we had a really strong push on that market would love to see a pullback into the 1300 level is a strong level you can see we've got a couple of touches it's also a round number same scenario you can see we don't have a nice uptrend here but you can see very strong divergence on the lower time frame so the indicators are pushing lower as the market here in this case is consolidating so looking for a bit of a bigger pullback on this market. I want to take a look at some index markets as well. So let's take a look here. Um, let's start with the Nikkei because it's about to open pretty soon. And what we've got here, a really strong push lower. You can see now we come into the level of support and resistance around the 15,000 and we're starting to hold. Um, and you can see on the lower time frame, we're starting to go sideways, indicators pushing higher 
higher same scenario here even on the four hours so it either be a consolidation before we break in lower again or we might see a pullback I would love to see a pullback into the 15500 really some of that selling pressure and a continuation lower uh, let's take a look here at the S&P for uh, a next index market and you can see again the S&P massive drop we couldn't break the high here of the 2100 and finally completely rejected that and now we're sitting in and around the 2000 level we are very much overextended we'll have a pullback even into the 2040 and then a continuation of this down move in this market we're actually uh, moving lower the indicator is not diverging as strongly as they were in other markets so we might just see a sideways action before another push lower lastly let's take a look at the DAX the German index and again this market also sitting around the level of support and resistance in and around the 9300 and you can see as we move in lower we've got a very strong divergence coming in here on this market as well so all these markets are overextended they're all due a pullback and the lower time frame starts to diverge so I'm looking for opportunities on the mid time frame and I'm waiting for that pullback to happen and even if you missed the opportunity and even if you didn't get to make all that money that you hope to make on these uh, massive moves in the market remember the most important thing that we can do as trader our number one job is to look after our account is to look after our risk and to have a sound risk management program now if you want to know more about how we trade and understand more about trading psychology well today we've got a special webinar for you and that is understanding trading psychology how to stay mindful disciplined composed and focused when trading the market we all have that uh, roller coaster of emotion when we see the market moving and we go we need to be on that train and how come I didn't catch it and how did I miss that opportunity and then you find yourself chasing the market only to lose more and more and more a lot of new traders believe that if they have the perfect trading strategy then that's it that's all that makes them a trader but really the trader mindset the psychology behind the abilities to uh, flawlessly execute that uh, trading strategy is very very important understanding your personality traits and what sort of personality trait you have that can help you in in your trading and what kind of personality trait can actually be a hindrance in your trading and what can you do to overcome that what sort of actions what sort of uh, um, plans can you have in place to help you uh, improve your trading psychology and have the correct mindset of a trader we're also going to have a Q&A time some of you have already mailed your questions to us so this webinar is going to run today the 20th of June at 12.30 p.m. in Sydney, 2.30 p.m. in Auckland, 3.30 a.m. in London and 10.30 p.m. in New York and it's also going to be recorded. The second webinar is going to be how to trade Forex with precision and it's still going to run today but at 8 p.m. London, 3 p.m. New York, 5 a.m. Sydney and 7 a.m. Auckland on the next day. Day. I look forward to see you on this webinar. Have a fantastic trading week and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.